Stay tuned, everyone. We're about to begin the 2021 Smale Buick Virtual Auto Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Buick Auto Show presented by Smale Buick in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Today, we will be connecting you directly to our showroom floor with a trained product specialist and a live cameraman. We will answer all your questions and perform live demonstrations on your favorite Buick vehicles. Without any further ado, let's start the broadcast with your hostess, Taylor Smale. everyone and welcome to the 2021 Smale Buick Virtual Auto Show. My name's Taylor and I'm going to be coming along with you guys this morning as we see all the new and exciting things in store for Buick this year. A quick reminder before we get started, don't forget to go ahead and give this video a like, share it. We are live so we can answer your questions in real time and we want to make sure that we definitely cater this to show you guys exactly what it is that you want to see. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce our product specialist, Nick Hodgkiss, and our sales manager, Dylan Hewitt. Hi, hello. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. <laughs> We've all had our coffee. We're all pumped to go this morning. We're all Ready pumped to go. Yeah, yes. Ready I was going to say, for everyone back home, just a quick reminder, we are all in separate locations. Um, so we have an on-site videographer that's going to do live demonstrations for us. And so we're being very COVID safe and taking all the necessary precautions, just so everyone knows that at home. And then um, I was going to say, Dylan, I know you're going to kind of be popping in throughout. Yes, ma'am. So I guess we'll see you in a little bit, but right. Dylan will be back. So Nick, um, what are you most excited to start with this morning? Um, you know, uh, all the whole lineup, you know, Buick has a very good lineup. Um, all the cars are, you know, beautiful um you know they're nicely crafted they're luxurious so i'm excited about all of them honestly very good brand of vehicles yeah i was gonna say we have one right in front of us we can yes. always start mm -hmm. there yeah so that's gonna be the um encore um regular encore uh so just to kind of start on what it is um so the encore is only available in one trim level for 21 um so it's gonna be available in the preferred trim level and this one here is all wheel drive um, to kind of start in the middle there, um, so you're going to have your uh, halogen headlights uh, as well as your LED daytime running lights, and your turn signal is going to be integrated in that LED strip as well. Um, you do have your winged Buick logo there in the front. Um, you can see right there the LED um, turn signals, the halogen headlights are going to turn on and everything like that. Um, nicely styled in the front. It looks very luxurious, very sophisticated, um, very nice looking vehicle. Um, coming around the side there, um, you can see uh, you have your mirror there. Um, on the on the door handle buttons there, there are little buttons to lock and unlock the car. Um, and then in the mirror, there's going to be side blind zone indication. Um, coming along the back there, um, you are going to have LED uh, brake lights as well as um, integrate. You know, you have your lights in the middle there and your reverse lights. Um, backup camera is going to be there in the center, um, right below the Buick symbol. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have your third wiper there too for the rear. Um, and then, like I said before, this one is all wheel drive. So you can see that badge on the back um, says it right below there Encore all wheel drive. Um, open in the trunk there. So you are going to have your integrated tonneau cover right there that closes it kind of like a privacy shade. Um, so mm -hmm. when the trunk is shut, you cannot see inside of there. And then, of course, below the floor there, you're going to have your spare tire, um, your sound detonator with Buick's quiet tuning. Um, so very quiet on the inside. You can see it there in the center. Um, so it's a, it's speaker sound detonator. It's going to, you know, absorb a lot of the sounds and things like that. And you do have some storage around the uh, spare tire there, um, jack and everything, too. And then those seats are, they do fold flat. Um, you know, they, they fold flat so you have a lot of room um, inside the vehicle. Um, you can see in the back there, those headrests, um, they do slide down to give you a little bit more visibility out of the back window. Um, you can slide those back headrests up um, to, if you wanted the headrest for back passengers and things like that. Um, and then you do have the uh, integrated, you know, armrest and everything with cup holders there in the center. Is, the, is it all leather in the back? So it is going to be a mixture of like leather and cloth. Um, so the leatherette's going to be on the sides and then it's going to have like a cloth in the center 
And the nice thing about that cloth is it's very durable. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, stains, things like that, doesn't stain as much. Um, and it's very durable and things like that. Very comfortable too. Um, Encore has a very comfortable interior um, as far as the back seats go and in the front. I always think cloth is a little more comfortable, especially in the summer. So you're not especially like sticking. summer and the winter because, you know, in the summer it's not going to be as hot. And then in winter, it's not going to be as cold. It's not nice yeah. getting into a cold leather car. It's not very fun in the winter. <laughs> right. You get the best of both worlds with yes, yes. It, both of them. Um, so coming around the front here, you're going to notice um, power windows and door lock switches on the door there. Um, it's also going to be, everything's going to be wrapped in leather. Um, you know, Buick is very upscale with their interior. So around the doors, dash, things like that, it's going to be all leather. Um, you do have your armrest there in the center. Um, your parking brakes down below there. Um, you can see the gear selector. You do have a center, little center console that slides forward and back, your cup holders. Um, climate control and everything right there is going to be in the center. Um, you do have an 8-inch touchscreen. Um, that's where your backup camera is going to show up. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Sirius Satellite Radio are all standard on every trim level, mm -hmm. on this trim level, because um, there is only one trim level. Um, and then your volume knobs there in the center, too. Um, and then uh, every Buick comes equipped with Wi-Fi through OnStar, because um, all the Buicks come standard with OnStar. Um, mm -hmm. And then the Wi-Fi is part of a package that you can't get with the car. Um, you can see there in the center as well, um, push button start. Um, so every Buick Encore, Buick actually in general is going to have push button start standard. Um, so you don't have to, you know, go to a package or go to an upgraded model to get that push button start. It's very convenient. Um, you do have your steering wheel controls for your radio, cruise control on the left there. Um, and then in the center, you have your driver information center that reads your fuel range, your fuel economy, um, your trip uh, you also have your tire pressure monitoring system. So it does tell you what individual tire has the pressure in there. So it's nice, um, especially to know what, if you want to know what your tires have and mm -hmm. if they're lower or if they're too high. That is a, such a big screen in the middle. It is. It is a very big screen, especially for a little car. Uh, it's, it, it kind of, it's like the center point of the whole entire interior. Mm -hmm. um, it's very nice when it's, it's very nice and it's very integrated. It's very easy to use. Um, that's the thing about Buicks. Um, you know, their infotainment systems are not complicated at all. Um, they're all touchscreen. So you don't have to worry about, you know, dialing and then you happen to use a mouse or things like that. It's all integrated via touchscreen. So it's very easy to use. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes it can get a little more complicated when you have to push all these things, but so yeah. that, it's real simple, easy mm -hmm. and safe. Right. Yes. Very simple, easy and safe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, then, of course, your glove compartment is going to be standard on a lot of cars. Um, and then HVAC vents and everything, too. Um, but, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it on the Encore. Um, you know, up above there, you do have your interior lights. Um, you do have your rearview mirror there, too. Um, and then you do have your OnStar that's integrated into that mirror. Um, so speaking of the Encore, so there's the Encore and then there's the Encore GX. Yes, yes. So the Encore GX, as you can see here, it is going to be a bigger model of the Encore. Um, so it's about three inches bigger than the regular Encore. Um, and then this car is going to boast a lot of standard safety features. Um, so versus safety features that are not necessarily available on the Encore are going to be standard equipment on the GX. Um, so you can see there in the front, um, this particular one here is going to be an Essence model. Um, so this one is going to have the LED headlights. It's also going to have the LED daytime running lights and everything too. Um, this one does have the LED fog lights that are down below there. Um, very nice 18-inch alloy wheels on the side. You can see those. Um, and then this one is finished in black in color. So very sharp, um, very luxurious looking. You can see from the front. Um, but these cars are going to come standard with a lot of safety features. So, so a couple of those features to go over with is going to be your forward, your forward automatic braking, which is your collision mitigation system. So if you're not braking, the car will detect that you're not braking, and it will either alert you and or apply the brakes if you're not doing so. Um, also to integrate on that, too, is your lane keeping assist. So it will actually steer you in the middle of your lane. Um, so if you're drifting out of your lane, it will actually keep you in the middle of your lane. Um, also with that too is, you know, lane departure warning. So if you're drifting out of your lane and the car is saying that it can't correct itself, it's going to let you know, um, that it, it, it's not correcting itself. It can't. 
Mm -hmm. um, also with that is Ford, you know, pedestrian braking, you know, pedestrians walking in front of the car. You know, if say for instance, you can't stop, you know, the car will stop for you um, because it's, you know, that's a very safe thing to have. Yeah. And then also, you know, IntelliBeam headlights. So it does have its auto high beams for the nighttime. Um, so you don't even have to touch your high beams at all. Uh, so it makes it very easy and, and user friendly. Um, you can see around the back there, LED, you know, brake lights. Uh, your reverse lights are going to be integrated down into the bumper there. Um, this car does also have a dual exhaust that is hidden up underneath. Um, there is going to be some styling cues that Buick's going to integrate in a lot of their models now um, with the below with the Elanon having physical um, exhaust notes because mm -hmm. exhaust is going to be up underneath um, just to be a little bit more upscale look. Um, rear backup camera is going to be below everything too. Um, but the main thing that the difference this from the regular Encore, the GX is going to have a lot bigger trunk. Um, so you're going to have a bigger cargo area and things like that. Um, this car can also be equipped with a power lift gate versus the Encore. Regular Encore cannot be equipped with a power lift gate at all. Um, but you can see it still has that privacy shade that comes down. It's still going to be kind of the same configuration, um, but you do get a lot bigger cargo room, which is nice. Yeah, you can tell it's bigger. Yes. Um, and then, you know, just to touch on those, the seats do fold down and, and everything too. They are a lot easier to fold down than the regular Encore. Um, the regular Encore, you have to pull the middle seat up and then fold the seats down. So it sometimes can be a pain. Um, but what is nice is that you can, um, they just fold down. You don't have to worry about folding the seat up or anything like that, flipping that seat up. Um, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go right ahead. <laughs> um, so with the Encores, did they add any more colors to the outside? Or? Yeah, so they added two colors um, to the regular Encore for 21. Um, so that is going to be Cinnabar Metallic, which is kind of like a red. Um, and then you have Dark Moon Blue, which is going to be a really rich dark blue. Um, very, very pretty colors. Um, they are really, really nice. I say I like the blue. Yeah, the blue is very nice. It's sharp. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> yeah. Um, so but, are, in 2021, those are those will only be for the new models. Correct. Yes. Yep. And then that that color is going to be available on a couple other of the Buick models that we'll discuss here in the next couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're brand new to the regular Encore for this year. Hmm. So those are some exciting things to look forward to. Yes, 100%. <laughs> um, but kind of to go back on that GX2, um, like I said about the safety features and things like that. Um, now, again, the Encore is going to have the leather the leather and the cloth mixed on lower trim levels. So that's going to be on your preferred and your select models. Um, this one being an Essence model, um, this one is going to have the full leather integrated on it. So you can see it right there in the video. Um, and then also it's still going to have the eight inch touchscreen, um, you know, for 21 on the GX's Sirius XM is standard on every one of them. Um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, again, is going to be standard on every Encore GX. Um, rear vision camera, of course, is going to pop up there too. Um, one of the other nice things about the GX is on higher trim levels, you know, selects and essences, um, you can get dual zone climate control. So, you know, on the Regular Encore is only available with a single zone air conditioning unit and single zone climate control. Um, the GX adds the dual zone, which makes it very nice. Um, so you can have individual temperatures for the front. Um, and then selects and essences are going to have heated seats, um, which are really nice. Um, that essence model does have a heated steering wheel, which is nice for the winter. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, nice. That would be really nice Keep on your hands nice today. and warm. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, every, almost all of the cars that we equip, um, they do have remote start. So, you know, that's nice for the winter, nice for the summer. You can use them for both. Um, the GXs um, are going to have standard selects and essences are going to have it standard. Um, mm -hmm. Preferreds can be an option as an added package. And then the on regular Encores can be added to any of them, too. Um, so it makes it very nice and very stream um, and heats the car up in the winter. So it makes it nice right. and warm. I used to have the remote start and I don't anymore. And that was one of my favorite things. Yes. Having that in a vehicle. Yes. It's always nice to get out into a nice warm car and don't have to worry about getting into a cold car and your windshield's <laughs> all, you know, frozen over and things like that. It's nice to just get in and go. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have to sit there and let everything be thawed. And... Right. And be cold. And when you're, when you're doing that too. Right. So yeah, it makes it nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, to touch on some things too, um, you know, with that remote start, I wanted to say, 
um, on selects and Essence Model GXs. If you do remote start it, it has the automatic climate control, so you don't have to worry about setting the temperature. Um, I know in older vehicles, you know, you had to set the heat, you had to set the cold air, you had to set where it comes out of, you had to turn the fan speed up, things like that. Um, it's going to do that all by itself because um, so it doesn't you don't have to worry about turning the heat up. You don't have to worry about turning the fan speed up. It's going to do that all itself. And those heated seats turn on as well with the uh, remote start. So your seat's going to be nice and warm when you get inside if you remote start it. All really great features to have. Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a ton of stuff on these cars. You'll see that in the next, mm -hmm. you know, even the next two cars. I mean, these cars are so smart nowadays. You know, there there is a ton of technology that's equipped with all of them. Yeah. Right. Um, so moving on to the next car, did we want to look at the 2021 Envision? Yeah, um, I think, you know, I think we'll, I think I see right here that we're going to have, we'll have Dylan pop up and go over a couple of things with us oh, before yes. we move on yeah. to that. Yeah. That's so, true. Okay. Hi, Dylan. Welcome back. <laughs> so um, just to touch on a couple things with the, uh, <clears throat> with the Encore and the Encore GX, um, 21 Encores, we do have uh, 1250 available and rebate um, as well as 0% for up to 72 months financing. Um, so it's not often you see those two offers paired together. And then um, on the 21 GX is 600 uh, is available in rebate um, as well as 0% for 72. And we do have some remaining uh, 2020 GXs here, which carry a big 1850 rebate as well as 0% um, for 72 months. So um, like I said, they're available. They're here. We have them in inventory. Um, so like I said, come on down and help us uh, make you a deal. <laughs> Now's a great time to take advantage of those offers. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you, Dylan. We'll have you pop back in again soon. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's, if you want to, let's, let's focus on that 21 Envision because this is brand new uh, for 21. They just redesigned it. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful car. Um, they did a very, very, very good job on redesigning this. Um, so you can see in the front here, um, all Envisions are going to have standard LED headlights. Um, as you can see, they're on there. You're also going to have your LED daytime running lights, which are right below there. Um, going to have your LED turn signals integrated in there. Um, you can see the Envision is going to still, you know, the Buick lineup with the winged Buick logo there in the front with the grill. Um, so they did a very good job with redesigning that. Very big, beautiful grill. Um, very European styled with this car, too. Um, they did a yeah. very, very cool um, redesign on this. The hood's going to be very, very wide, very long, very sporty looking. Mm -hmm. um, this color right here, of course, is going to be satin still metallic. Um, so it's going to be a very, very popular color for GM. Um, I like that you know, color a lot. Buick, yes, very, very nice. Um, coming around the back there, you can see your LED tail lights. Um, they're going to be fully LED with the turn signals, as well as the accented lighting, the reverse lighting, things like that. So very, very bright for nighttime. So people are going to see you a lot faster because LEDs are going to be a lot brighter. Um, and then this particular trim level here is going to be a preferred. Um, so this is available in three trim levels. So that's going to be preferred, Essence, and Avenir. Um, Avenir being the top trim level um, for Buick. Um, but you can see a lot around the back there. Um, this one in particular has the hands-free power lift gate. So it does show, it does project a Buick logo down on the floor. Um, but if you kick your foot underneath the rear bumper, it does open it up. So for, you know, ease of access and things like that, you can see. Mm -hmm. um, right there it is. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just kick your foot right underneath there and then that'll open the tailgate. So if you do have your hands full and things like that, you know, you have groceries, you have, you know, soccer bags, you have anything, you know, boxes, um, you know, it is sometimes a pain to open your lift gate, you know, having to press a button, things like that. Um, the button also to open it manually is going to be underneath the Buick symbol. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to open it manually, which you can see it opening there, um, now this particular one too, you know, they, they did a very nice redesign, you know, very big trunk. Um, so you have a lot of space, you know, to put items, things like that. You're also going to have a nice storage compartment underneath that floor too. you can see the handle there in the center, mm -hmm. um, but you can, you know, store things underneath that you don't want to be, you don't want, you want to be hidden, you know, whether it be an umbrella, whether it be anything you can put underneath there, you can see on the sides of the tires and things like that. Um, but yeah, they did a very nice job on redesigning the car. That's a yeah, very spacious trunk back there. Yes, fit a lot of stuff back there, and then you also have your integrated LED light there too, um, that shines in the trunk. So you can see what's in the trunk and things like that. 
Um, and then with that hands-free lift gate too, it's nice. You can honestly, there's four ways to open and close this. Um, so you can either kick your foot, you can press it on your key fob. You can also press the button on the trunk itself or inside the vehicle too. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to open and close this. So if your hands are full or whatever the situation is, it's yes. really easy to put up and down. Correct. Correct. Now to touch on some things that, you know, the safety aspects of this car. So this car is going to boast a lot of safety features. Um, so standard safety features, again, are going to touch like on the GX. So that's going to be your standard automatic braking in the front, your forward collision alert, um, your lane keep assist, lane departure warning, front pedestrian braking, as well as intelligent auto high beams. Um, this car is also going to come standard with blind spot detection too. Um, so blind spot detection, if you know, if you're driving on the highway and someone is in your blind spot, you know, mm -hmm. it illuminates on the mirror and makes it really nice and easy to see if anybody's there. Um, but to kind of touch on the, the seats and things like that too. Um, so again, this is going to have the leather and the cloth mixed, um, being on a preferred model. Um, so very, very nice. Um, you can see the leather there on the sides and then the cloth there in the center. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this, the, this gray stitching and everything like that adds a really nice styling cue. So you can really point it out. Um, you also have your, you know, the cup holder and the armrest there in the center. Um, so that makes it very nice and, you know, convenient and comfy, very comfy in the back seat. And you also have air vents in the back as well as a USB-C and regular USB output for charging your cell phone devices, whatever you need to charge. Especially with kids and everything like that, you definitely need those for all the little oh, the kids need and their gadgets. iPads and need their tablets. So that's a, that's a big thing. <laughs> Coming along the front here, you're going to see you have your power windows and door locks integrated there into the, the door. Um, and then the interior is very, very sculpted, very nice, very mm -hmm. sophisticated. As you can see, the um, center screen is going to be kind of tailored to the driver, um, which is nice because ease of access, you know, not having to reach as far um, to touch the screen. That is a 10 inch touch screen, too. So it is very, very big. Um, it also has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is new to the Buick lineup. Um, this is actually the first vehicle to have that, um, the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you don't have to even worry about using a cord to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Um, rear vision camera, of course, is going to be integrated in that too. Um, this particular one has the dual zone climate control. It has the heated seats and everything too. You can see down there below. Um, they kind of have like an accordion style button there. Um, it's very, very sleek. Um, you also have your storage compartment down below there as well. Um, and then in the center there, so they did, a, they did a couple things a little cool with the gear selector. So the gear selector is actually not a physical selector anymore. Mm -hmm. um, push buttons makes it very easy, very sleek, and opens up that center console really, really good. Um, so you're not, you know, kind of crammed into the car there. Mm -hmm. um, now, right above the cup holders, you'll see there's a lot, there's a row of buttons. Um, now, those buttons are going to integrate some of your key features. So the first one on the left there, the A with the circle, is going to be your auto start stop um, to turn that, deactivate that. Um, so to kind of touch on what that is, uh, most of these vehicles nowadays, Buick being nonetheless, um, they are they have that auto start stop technology to save you on fuel. Um, to get you better fuel economy. So if people don't want to use that or, you know, they just don't like it, you can push that button right there to turn it off. Um, to the right of that, of course, is going to be your downhill assist. Um, to the right of that is going to be your lane keeping assist if you wanted to turn that on and off. Traction control, of course. And then to the right of that is going to be your parking sensors to turn them on and off. Now, another cool thing to touch on these cars too, right below the cup holders, you're going to see that button right there that says the mode. So these, most, all, almost all the G, the GX, the Enclave, and the Envision all have um, the all-wheel drive mode button. So if you don't want to lock it in all-wheel drive, you can leave it in front-wheel drive, um, which makes it very nice, you know, for fuel economy, um, things like that. And then just the press of a button, you can go into the all-wheel drive mode. Um, that gives you a little bit, you know, more traction, things like that, a little bit, a little bit of peace of mind um, to know that it is in all-wheel drive. Um, you do have your, it opens up like that, of course. Um, mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to explain what, how to uh, opens, um, mm -hmm. but it opens very cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course you also have your sport mode with that button too, that gives you a little bit better, you know, horsepower and things like that. But yeah, I don't know how you would explain how that opens kind of like, I, I, not like a clamshell, but <laughs> I like to say butterfly for some reason. Butterfly. Yeah. Talking. Butterfly. I mean, I can see that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you described it as sculpted and that's the best word I could think to describe this. It is so sleek. 
and yes. how you cater to the driver. It's like a really beautiful looking car. You know what I'm, you know what people, you know, people have been saying nowadays, this is not your grandpa's Buick. Right. Um, they certainly are getting away from that stigma. Um, and they're, you know, opening up to different generations and things like that. And, you know, it's a beautiful car. It really is. Yeah. It's very luxurious feeling. Yes. hundred percent. And you can see, um, seeing in the side there, they have the, you know, the nice designed steering wheel. Um, that one's going to, of course, have your audio controls. It's also going to have your infotainment system, you know, for your information screen in the center. Mm -hmm. Um, this particular one also has a package that gives you the heated steering wheel. Um, okay. so it does have the nice heated steering wheel for, you know, winter and everything too. Um, automatic headlights, of course, they come on themselves with the automatic high beams and everything too. Um, gauge cluster there is very nicely styled, very upscale. Um, but you can see just from the driver's seat that that screen is kind of focused towards the driver. You can see mm -hmm. that it's it's meant to be towards the driver for the ease of use of the driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful vehicle. 100% beautiful, yes. Um, so before we head over to the Enclave, do we want to pop Dylan up again? Say hi to him. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you miss us? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Did you have any offers you wanted to tell us about for that one? Uh, this new Envision we've been waiting for. We're real excited about it. It is a, it's an awesome car. Um, it's great looking. Um, we do have them in inventory. And this is something you don't see too often. Um, you know, I've been around this business for 10 years. When a new body style, anything comes out, new model, um, typically don't have any incentives on them. That's not the case with the Envision. Uh, there's up to $3,000 available. Um, for uh, purchase on the uh, new Envision. And then Smail, we are always aggressive with our pricing. We're running a really aggressive lease right now on this new Envision, um, $3.99 a month with just $3.99 due at signing, 36-month um, lease. So like I said, um, it's not something you see too often when a new model gets released like this. So like I said, mm -hmm. now it's time to kind of come out, take advantage before they change their minds because you never know what's going to happen next month. <laughs> right. Now seems like a great time for Buick. There's a lot of offers to take advantage of right now. Correct. Yes. Well, thank you so much for popping back in. All right, we'll see you again after the next one. Yep. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we kind of saved the best for last, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be the Enclave, which is by far my favorite vehicle of all of the Buicks that we sell. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Enclave is, is a very big, luxurious three-row SUV. As you can see right in the back there, this particular one is going to be an Avenir trim level. Um, so that is going to be the highest trim level for Buick. Um, so to kind of put it in perspective of what that is. Um, so for instance, like GMC, you know, GMC has a Denali lineup. Um, everybody knows what a Denali is, you mm -hmm. know? So for Buick, they're trying to get into that stigma of knowing what an Avenir is. Cause you think of Denali, you think of GMC Avenir. We want to think of Buick. Um, so that's, that's their kind of their, their top trim level name is going to be Avenir. And it is also going to be available on the, Enclave and the Envision um, on both those vehicles. As you can see right there, the Avenir badge on the side. Um, it's got a cool little font to it. Um, it looks pretty, you know, cool, uh, like very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that word a lot because sophisticated mm -hmm. is, is Buick. You know, it's very sophisticated, styled, um, you know, very luxurious. 20-inch um, wheels are going to be on the side. Um, but to kind of go on the front here, um, you can see LED headlights, um, you're going to have the kind of the honeycomb grill in the front. That's going to be Avenir exclusive. Um, you also have your winged um, grill there in the front with the, with the Buick badge in the middle. Um, and then, you know, like I said, LED headlights, LED um, accented daytime running lights. You're also going to have LED lights accented down below there with your turn signals. Um, now, this particular one is going to be white frost, which, again, is one of my favorite colors. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very it's like a bright pretty white um it's got the pearl in it um so it is like it is a tri coat um so it's very very sparkly <laughs> for a better word yeah. um, coming around the side there again um you're gonna see you know the design cues on the sides um even the mirrors you know they look they look cool i mean the car is just a beautiful car um you know it also has that swoosh side um design with the buicks a lot of the buicks are gonna have that little wave Around the back there, you can see it there, um, right below, right behind the uh, rear door. Kind of has that wave that comes up um, mm -hmm. that gives it a very nice style. Um, coming along the back here, um, you're going to have your full LED taillights. Um, 
So very nice, easy to see. Um, they're very nicely accented at night. Um, of course, this particular, this one's going to have uh, the standard hands-free lift gate. Um, so you can kick your foot where the Buick symbol is below there. Um, and that is going to open up the tailgate, as we'll see here in just a sec. Um, go ahead. Were you going to say anything? <laughs> you know, taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a ton of stuff on these cars, especially this one. This one has a ton of stuff on it. Um, really so here we white vehicle. So I love the white color. Yes. Yes. White's my favorite color. Um, mm -hmm. but as you can see here, um, this, this one does, it has a third row folded up. Um, so right below there, you're going to have a very, very big opening floor, like underneath the floor storage compartment. It's very large. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can fit, you know, anything underneath there, you can see the, the carpeted mats are in there. Um, now that is removable too. So if you do unscrew the four tabs there, um, that does open up to give you your spare tire. Okay. Um, so your spare tire is going to be located inside the vehicle, which is nice. It's not outside in the elements, you know, it's not hard to get out. Mm -hmm. Um, now this, uh, this Avenir does have the power folding, uh, third row, as you can see the buttons there on the right, um, to fold those in. So very nice and fast and easy to use. Um, so you don't have to worry about pulling a strap to fold them down. As you can see, they're going to integrate down. Um, right seat must be back a little bit farther, but it does fold flat into the floor. Um, now, another thing to, to touch on this car, it is going to be a um, captain's chairs in the second row, and that is the only available seating configuration um, with the vehicles. So you cannot get a bench um, in the second row, uh, but it is a true seven passenger because there is three seats in the rear. Mm -hmm. Um, so you still get that, you know, that nice, you know, for the family and things like that. It's going to be a very family friendly SUV. Um, mm -hmm. you can see the buttons on there on the door handles to lock and unlock the door. Um, but coming along the back here, you're going to notice it's very big. Um, those seats look very comfortable, <laughs> which they are, mm -hmm. um, they are heated. Um, so the rear heat, the rear seats are heated. So, you know, the back passengers get to enjoy that luxury too. Um, you do have your try your your climate control for the rear, so the rear passengers can integrate their climate control to detect what you know do whatever temperature they want. Um, you do have your house outlet to the left of there, um, underneath that you know the block there, and mm -hmm. then to the right of that's going to be your USB. So again, you know, very family friendly with the iPads mm -hmm. and the tablets and cell phones and all of that. It's very nice. I would think the captain chairs would be what would be preferred. I know oh, there's yeah yeah it, you know. Cause it splits the kids up, you know, they're not right beside <laughs> yeah. each other. You know, you can, you're you know, if you're going on vacation, <laughs> yep. Stack them up with pillows. You don't even have to look at each other. So there you go. You can make a wall and things like that. So it makes it really cool. Right. <laughs> um, you can see this one has the Buick, you know, the integrated, the integrated liners, um, the all weather liners. So very nice for the winter. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to worry about slush getting on your carpet and things like that. You can see the Avenir trim badge. Um, mm -hmm. and, and all four of the door seal, seals there. Um, you can see the wood accents on the doors. Um, you can see coming up front here, um, again, with the wood accents on the doors. Um, every Buick Enclave is probably is going to come with the Bose stereo system if it has the navigation package on the Essence. It's going to be standard on Avenir with the Bose speaker system. Very nice, um, very clear. Um, you can see right there, you can see the badge for the Bose. Big speaker. Um, now, on the Avenirs, too, um, you can see on the seat there, um, there is a button clear to the back. Um, that button right there is going to be your massaging seats um, for the oh. front. So it does have massaging seats for the front two passengers. Um, also, to touch on that Envision, too, it does have a massaging seat on the Avenir trim as well. Mm -hmm. um, the Envision, it is only the driver's seat that is massaging, uh, but the Enclave gives you both passengers um, the, uh, the massaging seats. Um, you can see the Avenir badge there on the headrest. Um, so that makes it, you know, very nice and sleek looking. Mm -hmm. um, but coming inside again, um, eight inch touchscreen, of course, there in the center. Um, this particular one is going to have the heated and air conditioned front seats. Um, so, you know, you have your heat for the winter and you have your air conditioning seats for the summer, your cooled seats. So they're going to be nice and cool in the summer. Um, you do have your your precision shift um, there for your shifter. It's a little bit funky looking, um, but it is really nice and it's integrated very well. Um, in the center there up above, you can see your wireless phone charger. Uh, so if your phone is equipped with wireless charging, you know, just slap it down on that pad and it's very nice and it charges your phone very quickly. 
Um, and then also, you can also notice underneath the center console too, it has a very big opening space that not a lot of cars have that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's very big for, you know, storage. You can, you know, ladies can put a purse there. You can put anything there. You can put files if you have files, if you know you're working and you want to put something underneath there. So it's very nice. Uh, but you can see too, the uh, seating trim, you have all the, you know, the gray stitching, um, the gray piping. So it adds a very nice styling cue. Um, on the seats there. Very big center console as well um, to put storage and things like that. I'm still on the massaging seats. That would be so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's really nice. <laughs> on a yeah. road trip you also or have... the passenger, that would be so amazing. Oh, yeah. You'd always want to be the passenger. Exactly. <laughs> Um, you can see above there, it does have the dual scape sunroof. Um, so they are individual sunroofs. The back one does not open, um, but it is, it does give you light and everything like that. And the front one does open. Um, mm -hmm. So it lets in a lot of natural air, a uh, light. Um, that's a big thing. You know, this car is going to have a lot of natural light from the roofs. Um, you can see right there in the center, you have your garage home link. Um, you do have sunglass storage, which, you know, that's a very nice thing. You know, you don't have to worry about your sunglasses just laying all around. Right. Um, and then you have your OnStar above there too. They take a lot of things into consideration, like the wireless charging and the sunglasses, yeah. like everything can have a place and the car can stay really neat and clean right. all the time. Yeah. And then to touch on a couple of these features with this car too. So standard features on the Avenir is going to be HD surround vision. So HD surround vision gives you a eight camera view angle for the, for the 360 camera. So it kind of gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on with the car. So mm -hmm. parking this thing, even though it is very large, it's 201 inches long, um, it is very nice to park because of the camera angles. You can see exactly, you know, where the car is at. You can see all the different views. You can actually see where your front wheels are at, which is really cool to see how close you are to a curb. Um, the kind of touch on that camera system, too, um, in the rear view mirror, um, there is a toggle switch um, that you can toggle back and forth to turn on your rear camera mirror. So, mm -hmm. you know, for instance, if you're going to, let's just say the beach, and you have, you know, your car is loaded up to the top of the back of the car and you can't see out of your rear view mirror, you know, that's unsafe. So you flick a camera, a camera button on the back of the mirror and naturally projects a camera view of what's right behind you. So you can, you know, see safely and things like that. If there's people back there, you can't see out of flip the camera and then, you know, you can see the camera and things like that. And you can see exactly what's behind you. It makes it very right. safe. Yeah. That's a great feature to have. We've all been there where, you know, our, trunks a little over full and that would yes. help so much having that right yes um and then you know to touch on you know the safety features again um this car is going to have the standard same same features as the encore gx and the envision so your automatic braking um your lane keep assist um your forward you know your pedestrian braking things like that <laughs> also to touch um this particular one does have adaptive cruise control um, so vacationing, you know, going on a road trip in this car is a breeze. Um, so, you know, you set your cruise control um, to whatever temp, whatever temperature, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever speed you want to set at, whether it be, you know, 75 miles per hour on the turnpike. Um, you know, you can set your car length to three cars and then, you know, just take your, you know, feet off the your gas and the brake and let it do its thing. It'll automatically slow itself down. It'll speed itself back up. Um, if somebody in front of you does stop, it'll stop all by itself. It'll also pick itself right back up and you don't even have to worry about touching the gas and the brake at all. It makes it very nice for a trip. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, at the beginning, you said this was your favorite and I think it's now my favorite too. <laughs> yes, it is. It is my favorite. And, it, and the reason it is my favorite is just how comfortable it is when you're driving it. You know, it feels like you're driving on a cloud. It really, really does. And the thing that I like about it too is, you know, it's not as big as it really is when you're driving it. You know, it's going to be, you know, it drives like a car when you're inside of it. Um, and then, you know, having that third row is also a very nice thing because, you know, you never know when you, you know, have people coming with you. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't want to take two vehicles, it's always nice to have that third row available. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, on the Avenir, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's, it's a very beautiful car. It really is. Yeah. My favorite as well now too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, um, we'll pop Dylan back up. Say hi to him again. Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> back again. Any offers for this one? Well, that particular one on the showroom floor, um, 
that stickers for just over sixty-one thousand um, dollars. We are ready and rocking and wanting to sell this thing for about for forty-nine forty-nine nine ninety. So it's almost eleven thousand dollars off of the car. Um, first come, first serve. We only got the two left um, that uh, qualify for that pricing. Um, and then on the twenty-one um, enclave, there is same thing. Buick's running zero percent on just about every car we have in inventory. Um, and there is a uh, $2,000 as well as uh, 0% for 72 available on the, on the 21s as well. So like I said, um, but that one on the showroom floor, first come first serve, mm -hmm. you fist fight over it as long as we can tape it and put it on Facebook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say everyone watching, you need to come in now. <laughs> come on. Who wouldn't want to drive a car right off the showroom floor? I mean, you know, that's a good feeling right there. Look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> we'll um we'll give everyone watching some time if they have any questions they want to pop in. Um, we'll get service involved. We'll bring Dave into the picture. Our service manager, Dave Lagreco. Hello. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Great to see you. Yeah. Um, a question I have for you is: once someone purchases a Buick, what can they expect the service to be like after? Okay, well, most people that drive Buicks don't come into our service department too often because they're one of the most reliable vehicles um, in the in the country. And uh, and uh, people that own them, they love them. High high customer satisfaction. Um, when you do come in, uh, we'd like to sell you some accessories like those all weather floor mats or um, splash guards along with that. Um, and when you do, and also for maintenance. And your first maintenance, your first maintenance is free with Buick. Um, which you get a, a complete uh, lube oil and filter, tire rotation, and uh, multi-point inspection with that service. Um, also, along with that, at uh, at Smail, uh, we we are a tire dealer. We sell lots of tires. Uh, so for your current car or your new car, if you need tires, we price match any tire, any any price anywhere in the country. So. Uh, it's a great place to go. Bukes are beautiful cars. That car, those cars are gorgeous, and, mm -hmm. and they're so reliable and they're nice to drive. And, and and when we do see them in here, it's mostly for maintenance. And the people that own them love them, so uh, you will not be disappointed with that. And uh, and as always, uh, we have fast, friendly service. Um, we have customer pickup and delivery. We also have loaner vehicles uh, in case we need to keep a car overnight. Um, so. Um, please uh, don't hesitate. The cars are gorgeous and we look forward to seeing you. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a very stress-free experience. Yes, it's very stress-free. Uh, um, we, you know, we try to make it as, po uh, as smooth as possible. We have a drive-through where you drive into the vehicle, uh, drive into the store. So you're not out in the elements. We'll have somebody greet you right then and there. We'll write you up and, um, and, and it, we can stay if you want to wait with the vehicle. We have a nice waiting room with some amenities, uh, coffee, tea, uh, hot chocolate, uh, water. And um, if not, we have shuttle service that will take you around town to to get some lunch, or breakfast, go to casinos, gamble a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and, we, and like I said, and we also have a pickup and delivery service if you don't have time to come in and get it. Um, so it's pretty stress-free when you need to get your Buick service. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Dave. No problem. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. I don't know if anyone has any little final comments they want to say or if any, any more comments are coming in or questions. Um, for everyone watching, if you do have questions even after the live, Nick or Dylan will get back to you with that. Um, please feel free to comment even after the live. Um, if anyone has anything else to say, we can wrap this up. If not, yeah, I think we okay. covered it all. I think we're pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining the 2021 Smail Buick Virtual Auto Show. We hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>